Mitch Morse. He had apparently had off-season surgery to his ankle and elbow, and they were a complete success. So congratulations, Mitch Morris. I'm really happy to hear that you're fully healthy. And it kind of explains why he didn't really participate too much. I don't even know if he did participate. Maybe maybe one of you can fill me in there. But like, to my knowledge, I thought he was very limited and no contact stuff. And now it kind of makes a lot of sense. Turns out, he was battling a UCL injury for a good majority of the season, so the same injury that Josh Allen had. Now, Mitch Morris doesn't throw any footballs, but he does the snapping, so it's good to hear that that ligament is all healed up and stabilized and that he's good. Again, great to see him, right? And it's also great to see that he repaired his ankle after giving it some time so apparently what happened with that is that his doctors were like you know you could probably get away with not doing a whole bunch there and it'll probably it might get better but it wasn't getting better and then he was like you know what i'm just gonna get the damn surgery so good good on mitch morris he knows his body and we need him right We really desperately need him to be good. He is the glue to this offensive line. And quite frankly, could you imagine this offensive line last year if we didn't have Mitch Morris? God, it was... the For for lack of better words, the, the offensive line last year was kind of lackluster, right? Deion Dawkins had a down year, if we're being honest. Oh my god, the left guard, Roger Saffold, was just awful. Like, oh my god, I really thought he was going to be so much better, and he was he was just not it. Mitch Morris was battling through injury. Right guard, we got Ryan Bates, who I expected to have a better season, and he kind of was meh, I guess. And Spencer Brown was pretty inconsistent, and we, we can go through the whole situation of why he didn't have a regular offseason, but he, he, he just didn't have enough time on task. And ultimately, it just came to the fact that the Buffalo Bills' protection around Josh Allen was pretty bad, and eventually, it caught up to him. Josh Allen had to do everything. He was on the run, didn't have any time. So this is great news to know that one of the most reliable pieces and for obviously the leader on that front is healthy, he's good to go, and I just wish him the best in terms of his health, and I think he's going to be able to help stabilize this offensive line, which I have really high hopes for.